All right, let's jump back. Another ACL. Um, mm-hmm. Back to the running backs. Brees Hall is another yeah. one that a lot of people wanted to hear about. Potential rookie of the year type of season. Mm-hmm. Dan Terrors is ACL. What should we be thinking about year one? Yeah, I mean, in general, when as as clean as it can get, he had a pretty clean ACL tear. Um, pretty straightforward. Good surgery. I see him potentially being back week one. Um, He fits the mold of a lot of criteria for ACLs that will put him at a better recovery. So um, studies have gone out and they basically said like a good recovery predictor for ACL, you need to fall in these categories. You need to be under 25. You need to have a non-complex injury. So like, you know, not a JK Dobbins, something like that. Um, You need to have those nine months of recovery. Uh, You need to be about a third round grade pedigree or higher. And I think that might just kind of dive into more of like the athletic profile yeah. of things. And then um, from there, your success rate goes up exponentially. So I don't see him having an issue coming back. It was a pretty straightforward surgery, pretty straightforward injury. And then, you know, he's he's had time to recover and do the rehab. He might miss a couple of weeks. I don't even know if I see him going on the pup. I think that he'll probably just, you know, ease back into that first week or second week and then go from there. So. And then do we expect the same kind of guy year one or should we expect this dip in in uh, production in 2023 and then we get the real Brees Hall back in 2024? So like my viewpoint on injuries um, is if somebody has a significant injury, it's really hard to expect them to come back better, right? You sure. know, um, it, it, it might be what they produced last year, which was for him a, a great running back. But it's really hard for me to sit there and say, well, this person's going to come back and outperform what they did before they had the significant injury, before they had an offseason where all they could focus on was just rehab and recovery. So <clears throat> it's normally either a dip, especially that first year back, and then they can kind of get back to where they were the second year, or they hit that baseline of just what they were producing before the injury. You know, I mean, look at Adrian Peterson, for example, everybody was like, wow, he made a tremendous recovery, came back, um, you know, MVP the following year after his ACL. But Adrian Peterson came back to Adrian Peterson. Like he was already a good running back before that. He was already the best in the league. So I expect a Brees Hall when he gets to that point, he'll be about what you had. Now, whether that's this year or kind of overflows to next year, that's a big question. 